So what's got me fired up enough to do a random rant video today? Fine motor skills. The most misunderstood and misused term in the gun community. It was burning me up today. I'm out in my garage cleaning up range mud from my truck tires and, and it just, it just, these things get on my mind and that's when I have to do these rant videos. I just have to share them, get, off, get them off my chest. Um, fine motor skills. Do you know what fine motor skills are? Really ask yourself that question. If you're a gun guy and you've said, well, I wouldn't do that because that's a fine motor skill and under stress, you'll never be able to accomplish that. Fine motor skills are simply defined as activities done with the small muscles of the body. Fingers, hands, feet, toes, etc. Gross motor skills are picking up a boulder and walking 20 feet and dropping it. Using the arms, legs, glutes, back, the big muscles of the body. Fine motor skills can be learned and enhanced. As adults, they can be trained and learned. But most of them happen when we're kids. When we uh, draw, we color, uh, we play pickup sticks, uh, the old monkey in the barrel game, the game operation. Great for developing motor skills, fine motor skills in a little kid. So for some reason, people grab guns as adults later on and um, they see this button right here. Now that's a topic of a lot of debate anyway, whether it's a slide release or a slide lock. In my opinion, if it drops a slide, if it releases a slide, it's a slide release. That's logic. But people tell me that I'm not gonna be able to do that under stress, that. You may be right. People lose bowel and bladder control under stress. But what makes you think I'm gonna be able to do this under stress? Or better yet, this. Those are all fine motor skills. So why am I not going to be able to push the lever that drops a slide, but I'm going to be able to change the mag or press the trigger under stress? They're all fine motor skills. Gross motor skills come into play when you press the gun out, you bring it back, or possibly when you press the gun out and you go to slide lock and you bend your arm for a mag change. Most handgun manipulation is fine motor skills. Almost all of it. So instead of regurgitating this dogma on the internet and these, these supposed experts that tell you you're not going to be able to do that because that's a fine motor skill, most of handgun manipulation is fine motor skills. Do a little research outside the gun handling, guys. Do research on how the central nervous system works, how the human body functions. It will open up your mind and it will help you understand and learn a lot more than just pressing a trigger to make rounds go down range. It's really, really important. Be better today than we were yesterday, better tomorrow than we are today. How do you offset fine and gross motor skills? You train. How do you enhance them? You train. If you wanna drop the slide with your thumb, Train it over and over and over. If you want to run the slide, which is a fine motor skill also, by the way, it's got a little gross motor skill because of the arm activity, but that, that's a fine motor skill. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. However you want to do it, just do it. Train it. But don't judge other people because they use a different method. They're all fine motor skills. Again, it's not a gun term. That's not a gun fact. That's an intelligent design fact.